Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Blueprint Tycoon. It's important to stress that the game is still under development, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. With that being said, you can find it on Steam's Early Access Program for about 3 bucks, should you want to pick it up for yourself. Now, it's also worth noting real quick that uh, I have not had a chance to play this yet, so this is going to be a first impressions video. And as you can probably tell, my voice is a little off. I'm uh, sort of uh, dealing with a cold right now, and I apologize in advance if my voice just completely cracks or cuts out at times. Alright, so here's a look at the main menu. New game, load game, options, credits. Um, and you'll note on the bottom left hand corner, some of the other games that this studio has done. Survival Squad, for example. Uh, game Corp. Uh, under options, you've got video, screen resolution, full screen, V-Sync, anti-aliasing, edge scrolling, pan speed, all that stuff. Run and background audio, master music and sound. I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Controls, WASD, and other stuff. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and try this out and see how she plays. Alright, so let's go ahead and go through the tutorial first. So, welcome to Blueprint Tycoon. I'm your assistant, and I will guide you on your journey to building a successful, efficient, and profitable settlement. Let's begin. Build two worker houses in the highlighted area. The arrow indicates the entrance. You can rotate buildings with R, pan with WASD, and zoom with the mouse wheel, or keypad minus and plus. Okay. So we want to put housing down, yes? Worker. So, oh, I see. Entrance. Is it okay to put in this corner? No, it's just the tutorial, so. Build a marketplace and connect it to the houses with the road. Okay. Well, oh. Alright, so maybe I want to rotate it like this. And we need a road. The workers have needs. Build a vegetable harvester near the work near the marketplace. When you are building a harvester, the ground shows the fertility. Better fertility produces goods faster. Black means no fertility, so you can't build it here. Red is bad, yellow is normal, and green is good. Okay. Alright, so we want green, huh? Well oh, okay, no, the fertility is okay. It's actually on the building itself. So somewhere here might be a good idea, right here. And I guess we have to place a road down, right? Yeah. Alright. Send up a worker route to send vegetables to the marketplace. Oh, so we need a route, okay. So, work. From here to... Oh, okay. Buildings require materials to be built. Build a wood harvester near construction. Alright, so we'll throw that... Oh, again, this is yellow, so does it matter where I put it? Alright, well, we'll throw it here and put a road down. Do these have to be connected? Oh, I'm going to connect them anyway, just to be thorough about this, but... Okay. Harvesters and crafters require a blueprint to produce goods. Select the wood harvester and, and click New Blueprint. Okay. Remember, you can drag windows by clicking and holding the title bar. This is the blueprint maker window. In the harvester blueprints, the goal is to gather the goods and drop them in the output. You can drag windows around by holding left mouse button on the window name. On the right side, you can see the blueprint map, and on the left side, you can see the workers and tools you have available. Let's start with the green worker. Equip him with the harvester. Okay, workers move one square at a time, so let's change this starting position from the lower left corner to a better place. Click the start button to set up the... Okay, start. Now click on the selected square. 
This is the action wheel. It showcases the available actions for this worker in this position. Select the gather action. Well, I'd like to. Alright, here we go. This worker has his orders. Now let's set up the other one. Alright, so blue, I guess. Select the blue worker. Start position to the same as the green worker. Now when the green worker finishes his gather action, the item will be spawned on that position. Select the grab action so that this worker grabs the item as when it's spawned. Okay, so grab. And click the output. And drop. Okay. Now the green worker will gather goods and the blue worker will carry them to the output after which they will be added to the building storage. Save the blueprint. Set up a worker route from the wood harvester to the construction. Add some roads and watch as goods are harvested and delivered. Alright, so should I close this out then? Yes. Okay. Um, so the route is... I know it's one of these. There it is. So from here to here. Good job. Now we have materials to build. Your workers need to get paid as well. You get money by fulfilling contracts. Open the contracts window. Oh, bottom right. Okay. Right now, the only contract available is the stone contract, which pays 46 gold per item. Grab the stone contract. All right. So if I click on this. Your delivery building is tier 1, which means it can deliver up to 15 per day. Sell some stone by building a stone harvester with a worker route to the delivery storage. You can speed up time with the button on the top bar or alpha 3. Okay. So, uh... What are we doing again? <laughs> Sell some stone by building a stone harvester. Alright, so we need a stone harvester. This game's a little bit more complicated than Game Corp the X, I gotta say. Alright, so I'm gonna put that here. You know, because the you know the road can be plopped right here. Right? Oops, no, we didn't want that. Road. Okay. And, okay, so now we have to set up a blueprint. I guess we need more houses. Or will the green worker... We've got a green, blue, and yellow worker. But we already have the green one doing something, right? Please follow the tutorial instructions. Okay, sell some stone by building a stone harvester with a worker route to the delivery storage. Alright, well, let's cancel. All right, so we need it. All right, so I'll follow this there. Happy? Okay, so it looks like these things are building. I mean, I'm noticing that, you know, stone is being produced here. But now we need to set up this. Is that it? There we go. Congratulations, you just made some money. Always keep a close eye on your contracts and ensure you can make enough to cover the worker costs every day. Alright, so it looks like we're producing here, it's being delivered to storage here, and then it's being delivered here. I guess for contracts and such. Build four more worker houses. Remember to connect them to the marketplace so the workers can get their food. Alright. That's what to to ask about that I alright so said four more yes alright so something like this there is more profitable contract now available for iron ore however iron ore only has fertility in the upper side of the island build an iron ore harvester there and deliver goods to the storage okay well first thing we need to do well I, I would assume we need roads too right well shouldn't it be up to left alright well we'll put that here And then we need a road. Okay. Click on that. Um, do we need a new blueprint? Or did it do it for us already? 
Alright, well, let's connect them and see what happens. Now we have iron ore in storage, and we need some way of moving it to the delivery storage. That's where airships come in. Airships transport large quantities of goods between storages or ports. Airships are now built in your main building. Select it now. Okay, idle. This is the main building. Here you can build airships, trading ships, and tokens. Click the airship button. Okay. Now special drones will fly out from main and grab the needed goods from the storage or port that has the highest amount. Wait for the airship to finish construction. Remember, you can speed up time. Okay, so it looks like my construction... Alright, it's grabbing... Okay, so it's grabbing goods from my port. Coming down here, and it looks like it's just building this here. I see. 13 wood. So it's almost completed. I would say, so far, this game is really intriguing. Um, it's still a little confusing in some parts, um, but that's just because I'm new to the game and I haven't totally gotten a handle on how the production chains work. But I'm really anxious to learn because I really like the art style here. And I guess we can speed up time while we're waiting, huh? That way you don't have to listen to me drone on. There we go. Now it should be done soon, yes? I think we've got all of our resources here. Idle, okay. Airship is built. Now let's set up a trading route to transport iron ore to delivery storage. Select the airship and click new route. Alright. So where is it? Oh, this here? New route. Select the storage from and to pick iron ore for the goods in new route. Okay, so... Oh, up here on the very top. Um, all right, iron ore, right? So we want from here to here. Oh, storages or ports, so from here to here. Right? From storage to, so it's going to fly from this storage to this storage, and it's going to deliver to here, right? Now the airship will transport the goods. Open the contracts window and accept the iron ore contract. Now what's this? Expenses 607. Possible net. So why would there be expenses with this contract? Hmm. And what are these buttons? What do they do here? Can I increase or decrease? No. Oh, that just moves them around, I guess. All right. Now, what, what, what's this do? See, I'm not exactly sure why there'd be expenses for a contract. Um, you know, you're just... I mean, the, con the expenses should come from just what you have built. Not from the contract window itself. I mean, I, I mean again, I'm, I'm new to the game, so maybe I'm missing something. All right. You can deliver 15 goods per day. Iron ore pays better, so try to deliver as many as possible. If the contract cannot be fulfilled, the workers will wait a while before skipping it. Balance your contract amounts to maximize profits while ensuring no workers ever... Oh, okay, so 15 a day. So let's do... It's minus that and plus that. There we go. Well, obviously, we want to do more iron ore if we can. Well, it looks like we've got a healthy balance of iron ore and stone here, so... I think 9 iron ore and 6 stone ought to do it. I get more for the iron ore, so I'm going to do a little bit more toward the iron ore side of things. I just have to hope that I don't run out. Possible net, 26.59. Okay, so that's better than before. Okay. Now let's get some researchers. Build two researcher houses with, uh, houses with roads connecting to the marketplace. Okay. Researcher. All right, well, let's close the contracts window first. Um, why don't we do something like that? We'll put roads down. Uh, go. 
These research researchers want some apples. Build an apple harvester and set up a route to deliver some apples. How do they? How do you know that they want apples? Oh, I see. Okay, clicking on the house, the worker house. It, it that's is that green fruit, oranges? I can't tell. But the market has twenty of that, but no apples. Okay, I see. All right. Oh, vegetables. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, so we're creating vegetables up here, vegetable harvester. That's going to the market. That's feeding these workers here. Makes sense now. Okay. And the researcher needs a different kind of food. So we need... To, okay. Okay. All right. I'm getting there. Okay, so let's put that... Let's put that here. We'll put a road over. There we go. And deliver to the marketplace. All right, so we do that to that. Now we have enough researchers to build a lab. Alright, now my question is, I mean, we did a convolute with this new blueprint thing here. Is it doing it for us automatically? Or does it save it every time? Like, because we had to select two workers, one to pick up, one to deliver. So why why aren't we having to do that each and every time? Is it is this blueprint carrying over to each new building that we create? Or is the tutorial doing that for us for the sake of time? Alright, well. We have enough researchers to build a lab. Okay. So we need a... I guess we'll throw that... Uh, let's throw it here, and then we'll put a road here. There we go. The lab allows you to research new tech to craft, better goods to sell for a bigger profit. Researching tier 1 tech requires red vials. Build a red vial crafting. Okay, so there's a lot of crafting involved here. Alright, so we're going to want to put that maybe like right here. Oh, there's... Looks like there's an input and output with this thing. So I'm going to want to put it... Maybe up here? And then it'll output to that storage? Or I could put it down here. Uh, let's do this. Alright, I'll get new blueprint in a minute. I want to get the road set up. There we go. Alright, so click on that new blueprint. This is the crafter blueprint. You have inputs welds, a craft output, and a final output. Well, let's move this window up. The goal is to grab the goods from the inputs, drop them on the welds, and use a worker to weld them together. When all goods are welded, the craft output will spawn, which must be carried to the final output. Dear Lord. Okay. On this blueprint, we have two available workers with the welder and cart tools. We'll have the green worker grab the goods, position them on the welds, and the blue worker weld them together and carry them. Okay. Equip the cart on the green one, okay. Start here, grab wood, grab stone, move to stone wield, okay. Drop stone, oh I see, so it's, it's sort of like a, you can actually see the green there, sort of like a path, okay. Let's set up the welder. Select the blue worker, equip the welder, start his position to the wood weld. I thought I did. Oh, start. There we go. Here. Select action weld down. The crafted item will spawn when all welds are done. Move to craft output. Grab red vial. Move to final output, drop. That's it. More advanced blueprints will have more workers and more tools at your disposal. Always try to make the most efficient blueprint possible. Save the blueprint. Your workers are currently idle because the building has none of the input materials. Build wood and stone harvesters and set up worker routes to the Red Vial Center. Alright, so we need... Uh, well, we should have... Oh, we had wood coming in, don't we? Oh, no, that was coming from the port before. Okay, so we need... Yeah, we need wood. All right. So... All right, we need wood. Let's throw that 
here. And we need stone, right? Put that here. All right, so we need... Should we put another storage here, maybe? I'm thinking we should. Alright, is there a way to put another storage down? Marketplace, worker, researcher. Because there's storage, but I don't know where... Oh, there it is, storage. Okay. So we'll throw that here. There we go. Now... We need a route from here to here, right? And here to here. Is that gonna, is that gonna work? Okay, so it's gonna go into storage now. Now we need a route going from here to here. Instead of delivering the input materials directly to the crafter, you should deliver them to storage and have several crafters getting their input materials from there. Okay, isn't that what I just did? Now select your lab and research tier 2. Well, we don't have anything going there yet. Remember to set up a trading route to deliver red vials to the lab. Alright, so we want to go from here to here. No. Nope. Alright, so... Oh, uh, we need... Oh, I see. We need a road connecting this. The output... Okay, there we go. Now it should work, I think. Alright, from here to here. No. Nope. No goods autofill possible. Oh, pick research. Tier 2. Okay. Did that. Now, uh, remember to set up a trading route to deliver red vials. Okay, I, I thought I did that. Alright, drag route. Now, okay, so it works now. Okay, so you have, to, you have to select what you want to research first and then set up the delivery route. Well, this is crazy. Okay, um, crafter to lab. Now, did I create the route already? Crafter 7 to lab 1? Looks like it. Alright. So now we should be getting... Alright, so... Are we actually delivering these vials now? Or do we have to put... Do we have to set up a route to storage, maybe? How about we do that? Alright, so maybe from here... Oh. From building needs to have output, okay? So storage here to here? So I can, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Now select your lab and research tier 2 did that. Remember to set up a trading route to deliver red vials to the lab. Alright, so this is... Do we have to pick research now? Or click new blueprint? Because I do believe we are getting stuff here. Right, I'm not exactly sure what it wants me to do here. Um, new blueprint? Do we have to do this? Alright. Um, green. Start here. Grab. Oh. Congratulations, tier... Okay, maybe I just had to wait a certain amount of time. Okay. Alright, next. Now we can upgrade our buildings. Craft some green tokens in the main building. Alright, well, let's close this. I don't want to mess anything up. Cancel. Because it doesn't look like we're actually... Yeah, alright. Tokens. So what do tokens do? That's a good question. Alright, it needs stone. So it looks like it's crafting that right now. Alright, 67% done. Select your iron harvester and click upgrade. Iron harvester. I know I have it here somewhere. Was it upper left here? Iron ore upgrade. Oh, I need two tokens, so I need to create another one. There we go. So it looks like these these tokens here allow you to upgrade your buildings from the looks of it. 
And it looks like there's multiple types of tokens too, which is pretty cool. All right, so now we're just waiting. Now, do we have an inventory? Okay, yeah, we have two green tokens on the left-hand side, now three. Okay, so let's try upgrading again. There we go. Now the harvester blueprint workers will work faster and produce more goods, allowing you to increase the amount delivered in the iron ore contract. Worker routes can also be upgraded. Select the iron ore harvester and upgrade the worker route that carries the goods to the storage by clicking on the upward arrow next to storage 2. Okay. Oh, right here. Tier 2 buildings require tier 2 building materials, in this case, iron ingots. They also produce waste, which needs to be properly disposed of. Build a coal harvester, iron ingot crafter, waste disposal, and supply construction with some iron. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, this game's quite complicated, I gotta say. Not that I'm complaining, but it's gonna take some getting used to, I think. Alright, so we'll throw that here. Alright. And... That's the waste disposal. Need a coal harvester. Well, we already got the waste. So do we have to... Connect it somewhere, maybe? Building needs to have some out... Alright. Sleep, new blueprint. Alright, so where's the coal harvester? Ah, there we go. Alright, so we'll rotate that like that. And this is what now? Iron ore. Okay, well we have iron ore already. I mean, we have that right here, don't we? So why do we need another one? Oh, iron ingot. There we go. Alright. Okay, and here's another input-output kind of thing. So I'm going to put that here, and put a road here. There we go. So build a coal harvester, which I think I have here. Iron ingot crafter, which is this here. Waste disposal, and supply construction with some iron ingots. All right, so now do I have to connect all of these together? All right, now what does this thing need? Not enough workers. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but all right, so this one is producing coal from the looks of it. Coal was being delivered here. Okay, we need something. Okay, we need a, we need to deliver iron from. He, okay, so from here to here, not enough workers. Okay, so let's build another house. All right, and again, route. All the iron is being stored here, so if we bring that. Is it here? Or is it here? Where did we need it? No, that's cr that's creating the iron. That's waste disposal. Okay, so we have to bring that down here then. Okay. There we go. Alright, now hopefully... So it looks like the blueprint is already set up for us. Crafter, waste disposal, storage two. Okay. All right. So it looks like the iron ingots are now being made. Now, what are the iron ingots going to do? Where are they going to go? Supply construction with iron ingots. Okay. So now we need to supply the iron ingots to construction, right? All right. Good job, now we can build some tier 2 buildings. Look at that, a new mission has been added to the contracts. Missions are special limited contracts that must be fulfilled. This mission is asking us to supply 20 microchips, let's do that. There is no fertility for copper or sand on this island though. 
Take advantage of the entire map by colonizing islands and moving goods between ports. Craft more green tokens and colonize the neighboring island. Alright, so we need a port. Okay, where am I going to find that? That's storage, it's road. Oh, colonize. Okay, we need more green tokens. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And that. We've got two, we've got zero in storage right now, so we have to sort of wait a little bit. I'm going to speed up time. Alright, now we have five green tokens, so I'm going to go ahead and colonize that. Alright, so it builds a port for us, I see. When you colonize your first island, you get a free ship. More ships can be crafted in the main... This island has great fertility for copper and sand, which are two goods needed for to craft microships. Okay. So we need a copper harvester and a sand harvester. If you need more workers, build more worker houses. I have a feeling we will need them. Question is, I don't think we have any room up here. We could put them... Put one down here, maybe. Not that. That'll work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we need a copper harvester and a sand harvester. So we'll throw that. Okay, that's green. That's, yeah, we're going to put that here. And that we can put right next to it. No fertility. Okay, so over here then. You can craft them in the secondary island and shift to the main island, or ship the raw goods and craft them after your choice. Alright, so I think we'll craft them here, just to save time, and then... Alright, input-output. Um, I'm going to put that here like so. And when we supply the road down like so, there. There we go, and then right to the port. Okay, now we just need to create... That to that, and that to that, yes. Alright, now that should supply that. There should be an output here, and that should go to the port. Now will it... Do we need to assign from here to here, and back? No? Or does it go from port to construction? Oh, it's not... Okay, we're not doing anything yet. Okay, why not? Alright, so why aren't we producing anything? Is it because we don't have workers? Or do we need... Blueprint? Maybe there's no housing over here? Alright, well let's try putting housing... Well... That's weird. Okay, so how do we get things flowing over here? Alright, let's try... Okay, we got the microchips. Let's try building a house over here. We're going to need a marketplace, I assume. So we'll put that here and here. And a marketplace. So how do we get more? Can we do... Okay, so we've got... We've got a market over here with plenty of goods. We're not getting any here because we don't have... Do we need another vegetable factory? Or... Can we export that over? Okay, like, can we do this to, say, this? All right, so how do we get... All right, even even with the workers here, they're not doing anything. So I'm wondering if... Upgrade, sleep, new blueprint, low default. All 
All right, so I'm not exactly sure what it is I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, I have everything set up. Oh, maybe they're not going to the port. All right, well, let's cancel this. Do we have a path going to the port? Ah, there we go, okay. Is that what we were doing wrong? But they're still not producing anything. So how do we get... How do we get someone over here to craft this thing? I've got the microchips. How do we get the workers to work here? Add worker. No. That seems to be doing okay. Well, we've got some good fertility fertility over here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll connect this to this. This will supply these workers here. But I still don't know why nothing is being crafted. Is it because our blueprint... Do we need to do a blueprint, maybe? All right, well, let's try it. So we've got a green worker, blue, yellow. Okay, so green will start... Um, actually, let's grab... Cancel this? How do we stop that? Delete action. Alright, so start here, grab, go here, drop, right? Did we do that right? We have to harvest first. No, it just says grab. There's nothing. Okay, what if we did gather? Okay. Yeah, definitely not doing this right. But I know. Let's see if that works now. Well, something's happening. Okay, so I don't think we have a blue... I think the problem is we didn't have a blueprint. Alright, so we actually... Are we actually producing anything? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. Blueprints, copper. Equip a worker with a harvester... Place him on a harvest square. Why is there three? To, okay, let's just let's cancel this and redo it. Blueprint is in use by the building. Cannot delete. Okay, so I have to add a new one and then okay. Can we load default? Oh, okay, that's nice. So the game can actually load one for me, which is kind of nice. Okay, so let's save that. Delete that one. Use that one. Okay, cancel. Uh, let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, so I, I kind of like that low default. This will give me a chance to do this on my own. Okay, sand X. There we go. Alright, so the market is filling up with uh, vegetables for these workers here. That's good. And now I should be able to create this because we are getting a steady supply of sand and okay now you have microchips being produced send them to the delivery storage and complete the mission all right so we need to set a route from here to delivery storage how do we get them maybe we need a road over here all right, let's do this. Um, road. Road. Okay. So we want to do from here to here? Or from... From building needs to have an output. Well, I'm trying. 
Send them to delivery storage and complete. Okay, so how do I get... Storage. Like, they're at the port right now, but how do I get... Ah, new route. Okay, so maybe I needed to ship these back and forth. Alright, from here to here. And I have to choose what goods I want to transport. Microchip. Okay. Now, is that waste? Alright, let's, yeah, let's transport waste while we're at it. New route. There we go. Okay. So, now this ship is going to go back and forth between both ports. There we go. And that should be dropped off here. Now, how are we going to get these things? Do we just put them in storage? All right, close that. From port to delivery. The building needs to have input. All right, no goods autofill possible. All right, do we need another storage maybe? Let's, let's just put another storage down. All right, so what if we did here to here? No goods autofill possible, all right. So how do we get these microchips over to delivery? To building needs to have input. Oh, okay, so we're going to send them over construction then? It seems to like that. Not sure why I can't send the microchips directly to storage. to figure out a way to deliver okay unfortunately again this is early access folks so there's definitely I think some things missing here that are going to be useful for new players because um, I still can't figure out how to deliver like I figured out how to deliver the finished goods from this port over to this port but now I don't know what to do with it It just says send them to delivery storage, which is over here, and complete the mission. Well, do we have to maybe go from here? No. From building needs to have output. Well, that's what this port has. So why can't I just send it there? That, that's my question. Do we need more airships maybe? So this route from port to construction isn't doing jack. It's just nothing's being moved. We've got garbage piling up here. I wonder if we need to put the garbage... From here to some place to put the garbage. Okay. All right, so the garbage is being put there. Now, how do we get... The, where do the microchips want to go? That's the question. How do we get the microchips over there? We've got 25 of those. Or do we need... Do we have to accept the contracts first. I'll click the dismiss. It's not what I wanted to do. Uh, research, main, new route, route list, contracts. There we go. Microchip. Uh, we don't have any workers, maybe? 
And now we have workers. Okay. So how do we accept? Oh, let's lower that. Lower the stone. Add more people to this. All right. Now how do we get available? Okay. Stone and iron ore. So here's the contract here. I have four workers set up to deliver the microchips, but how do we get it from the port to where it needs to go? That's the question. Uh, maybe the no, maybe it wants me to, okay. Port one. To storage to delivery can it do all right let's do that all right no there we go port one to storage two how about that and microchip is that gonna work there we go okay let's see if that works for us just wait a minute all right let's just fast forward time and see what happens that not work okay port one to storage four okay again we're trying to microchips it's in port one it needs to go to storage four we want microchips to go to storage four. New route. Okay, there it goes. Okay, I'm not sure what the deal was. So now that we have it going into storage here, we should be able to bring it. Two building needs to have input. All right, now we've got the microchips going to storage now do we have to do the same thing here with delivery new route uh, storage for to delivery or storage for to storage one maybe all right these balloons are going I wonder if we need more of these balloons And those aren't being built for some reason. I wonder if we don't have the resources for it. All right, so we're storing that. Oh, routes, holy cow. All right, that window's a little bugged. All right, well, let's, can we close that down? So right now this is just there's just too much here I, I can't seem to close this window down again this is early access folks so I'm sure these things will be fixed over the course of time but I can't seem to close this now I'm just gonna throw that off to the side here um, contracts oh so maybe we are delivering microchips it says seven in parentheses um, six now so does that mean that it someone is automatically picking this up let's just to take a you know let's just look at this storage okay 16 so something's coming out of storage here okay so it looks like things are being delivered I just okay mission complete awesome job okay good that concludes the tutorial now you know how to hire workers harvest raw materials and craft them into valuable items let's make some profit all right, well, that's debatable. Um, so um, I think in the next video, we're going to spend some time uh, trying to uh, do exactly what we did with the tutorial, except we won't have a lot of help this time around. But uh, well, I think we'll, we'll manage.
Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to probably post some more videos over the course of the weekend. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.